at that time I had uh, that little uh, white beige. Um... Yeah. So uh, let's let's jump into you know kind of building building your own space. Now you mentioned one of the advantages here is having you know kind of a studio at home. You're able to make the magic happen. You know in in your own space. Um, I'd love to have you share a little bit from from a pro standpoint, you know, how you set that stage uh, or set that space up, you know, what sort of tools uh, that you found to be most effective. You know, we have some recommendations and other videos that we've done for for self publishing authors and, and that might be some of our audience. But again, occasionally we have people who are saying, hey, I kind of want to get into the audio uh, audio arena and and what do I need to do to start. Uh, so I'd love to have uh, your take from from being on the other side of that. Sure, absolutely. Um, so here's <laughs> here's where I totally started. Um, I uh, so when I first really kind of been like, all right, let's kind of dabble into it. And this was a little bit before the um, uh, the ACX days, I guess is what I would call it. Um, they had an audition for uh, on on ye old deviant art for romantically apocalyptic, the voice of the captain on there. And it was, I felt like super famous because I was like, I got to be the voice of the captain at the time. And this was like 2008 or something. I don't know, it was a while ago. Um, and at that time I had uh, that little uh, white beige um, stick mic thing that you got from like computer circuit, circuit city or something like that, I think is what it was back then. And you plugged it into like a headphone jack. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And you just hoped it worked because you mm -hmm. had to like record it and then listen to it after the fact. And so I would, I would try my best to just get as quiet as possible. After that, um, I was like, let's upgrade. And I, <laughs> I looked online and <laughs> I, I have no research at all to like, really like, what's a good mic. And they're like, anything that makes your voice sound good. I'm like, well, I don't own it. So how am I supposed to know this? <laughs> Um, so I ended up picking up, uh, it was on eBay for like 60 bucks and there was rows of them. It, it should have been a red flag, but it wasn't. It worked for me for like five years. Mm -hmm. It was like a little condenser mic. It was a USB thing that plugged in C1U. I think it was like an audio tech of something or other. Got a little stand for it, little pop shield thing that I think I still have around here somewhere. Um, and eventually it just became like, all right, well, here's kind of my recording space. Um, which turned out at first, I think, to be like a desk and like an empty room. And I was like, I hope it sounds good. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. um, and at the time, I think I had like, well, I had like a guest bedroom that had like bookshelves and things. So some of it kind of deadened the space a little bit, but I didn't know anything really about it. I'd seen pictures of like the stuff you see on the walls here that should I have like an actual booth and stuff to sit in? Probably yes. But you know, this works for me. Uh, 